All right, thank you, Taft. Well, our team coverage continues now. Another small town less than 10 miles away from where that tornado touched down in Quapaw is Baxter Springs. A tornado also touched down there. And that's where 2 News anchor Brianne Palmerini is this morning for us, uh, gathering the latest information there. Brianne. Well, now that the sun is coming up here in Baxter Springs, Kansas, we're really getting a better look at this damage and just how extensive it is. I'm standing by what was once a roller rink. I even seen a, a small roller skate here. There's lots of bits of damage and debris that's strewn all over the city. A home picked up off its foundation. This really wide look that you're now getting at this damage in the daylight. It's really incredible. And as of now, I know that about 25 people do have injuries, but we're told there's no serious injuries at this point, so that's good news. But that news could change throughout the morning as more of information is available, as more people take stock of what has happened here. Uh, I know that we're seeing power crews roll into town right now. They're actually carrying their power lines in, so we're seeing that happen. We know things are the cleanup is happening right now, and we'll continue to keep you updated on the situation here in Baxter Springs. I'll send it back to you now in the studio.